Moving on, the United States welcomes the opening of a Taliban office in Qatar, saying the first direct talks with the militant group could take place within days. I think the United States will have its first meeting with the Taliban for several years in a couple of days in Doha. This is the beginning of a very difficult road. Well, the U.S. official who didn't reveal his identity also warned of difficulties ahead. This as Taliban militants opened their political office in the Qatari capital, Doha. The office is officially called the Political Bureau of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. A Taliban spokesman said the office is meant to start dialogue between the militants and the world. He says the Taliban are willing to consider talks with Afghanistan's High Peace Council. The body was created by Afghan President Hamid Karzai in 2010. It aims to broker talks with the militants. Sir Gareth Porter is an investigative journalist with me now on the line from Washington. Let's get his comments on this. Ms. Porter, thank you very much for being with us on the top five. First of all, what do you think the talks between the U.S. and the Taliban is going to be about? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, it's not at all clear what, uh, what it is that they're going to have to talk about. Um, the Taliban... Uh, you know, they're certainly not going to uh, agree uh, to, you know, uh, approve the continued presence of U.S. troops uh, in uh, Afghanistan. Uh, the United States, on the other hand, uh, has never uh, been willing to agree uh, to any uh, talks with the Taliban about withdrawal, uh, sort of a, a, a timetable for withdrawal of U.S. troops from uh, Afghanistan. So that leaves... Uh, uh, a rather fuzzy picture here about what it is that they're going to discuss. Well, Mr. Porter, of course, the Afghan president, Hamid Karzai, uh, he said as well that he is uh, going to enter into talks with the militants, especially once uh, the foreign forces leave Afghanistan. Uh, do you see this, the formation of this office in Qatar, as a positive step forward in creating a stable Afghanistan? Well, you know, this uh, is clear, at least in terms of what the content of talks between the Taliban uh, office in Qatar and uh, the High Peace Council might be about. I mean, there was a lot of discussion several years ago, uh, as early as 2009, uh, about the fact that the Taliban had ideas about the changes that they wanted to have brought about in the Afghan constitution and political system uh, to accommodate their idea of what an Islamic uh, country, an Islamic government should be. Mm. And so I can easily imagine that the Taliban will have proposals to make uh, to the High Peace Council for the kinds of changes that they are saying would make it uh, uh, agreeable to them to rejoin yes. The political system. And Mr. Porter, just quickly before we leave you, if you could quickly tell us as well, a lot of people have been seeing the formation of uh, this office by the Taliban in Qatar, the fact that they are going to get involved politically in Afghanistan's affairs uh, as a far cry from what the military campaign in Afghanistan was all about. They, the American military took the Taliban out of power, the people were against them, now they're back. So what has changed? What has the military campaign brought about? I think what has changed is, in, in fact, that the Taliban have demonstrated that they could not be defeated, they could not be weakened to the point where the United States could essentially dismiss the Taliban uh, as, as not really being the primary uh, political military organization in the country, uh, the most widely supported a political military organization in the country. And I think that that fact has really made it possible to, to reach this point in yes. the evolution of the politics of the, of the conflict. Sir Gareth Porter, investigative journalist with us there on the line from Washington. Thank you very much.